Hello friends, my name is Akaki and I have some puzzles for you to solve today. This series of puzzles called Mushroom Basket is a really cool packing puzzle designed by my friend Andre Utsujani. These are called packing puzzles, not to be confused with hacking puzzles. Or a parking puzzle. Or a pack-in puzzle. You get this 3x3x3 three by three by three basket and you get these mushrooms, I presume, and you have to get them inside the basket. You have to fit them all in. But this, of course, is not the solution. You need to get them flush with the surface like this, do you see? Or a barking muzzle. There are three of these in the series and I've recreated them with my 3D printer. The files are available for you to download, so you should challenge them yourself. A packing puzzle is a subtype of these mechanical puzzles where you need to fit a certain number of objects within a box like this. And they tend to have some sort of a trick to get everything fit. I'm really into these sort of puzzles lately. A cracking nozzle. Before I got into these packing puzzles, I was into these interlocking box puzzles where you have to fit these cubic subdivisions together to form a cube like this. Aladdin Tuzzle. A packing puzzle is a bit different where you get this box and all these different shaped pieces and you need to Really imagine the shape that they're gonna take inside the box beforehand and imagine all those motions that they take. Make a plan for yourself and then execute that. Attacking muscles. There are some really cool ones with surprisingly small number of pieces and a small size for these blocks that they take. This one takes like 20 moves to get all these pieces within this frame. Padding bezel. There's even some packing puzzles that are more about taking the piece out of the box than getting it in. A Mac in Brussels. There is even the mysterious one piece packing puzzle where it's a single piece and a wide open box that you need to get in. No matter how you put it in, it always seems to want to come out. So the puzzle is figuring out how to get that to stay. Packed in hustle. Embarking puzzle. Anyway, I thought these mushroom basket puzzles by Andre were really cool because the shape is almost like a woven basket. It's got this handle and basically two openings on both sides. And the goal is to get the pieces flush with the top. I think this really tickles the psychology of tidiness and neatness in you. You can instantly imagine what the end result should look like. So as not to spoil all of them, there's three different designs. The solution is a little bit different for all of them. I'm going to show you how to solve one of them, so you get the idea. Crackling Dazzle. A Lacking Fizzle. The way I solve packing puzzles is I try and form the final shape outside of the box first. That's what they mean when they say think outside of the box. Let's see. There we go. I think that's the cube. For these three ones, I don't think there are more than one way to form the cube. So in that way, these puzzles are really good beginner to mid-level puzzle because there aren't many dead ends that you can end up in. The next thing we need to figure out is how to get this inside there. We know that this will have to go in piece by piece 
And one trick you can do is you can try and replay it backwards from the final solution. So let's imagine that this face was within the cage in this orientation here. We'll remember that this is going to be on top like this. Set it aside and try and fit all the rest of the pieces in the box. Something like this. I'm trying to keep the same orientation like that. And this shall be... What is this? Go oh, there we are. Like this, right? And I think you can see we're only missing this and because of the motion that we already planned out for it we now have a rote for this piece to go into the basket and that's the solution to one of the mushroom basket puzzles don't worry andre has made three different variations with all very different solutions each one you can download these and try and solve them for yourself i thought the basket idea was such a cool idea for a puzzle that i took the liberty of designing a few more variations on the same idea. Seven new puzzles in the same series. These are called uh, Akaki Baskets. Kayaking Muscle. Lacking Topsail. One thing that's different from Andre's puzzle is that every single one of these actually require rotations to solve. So as you can see from just this single piece in the first puzzle, there is no way to get it in without rotating it. So what you need to do is hook it around the handle like this and do a rotation. The handle is thin, not a whole voxel. That's a requirement for this rotation to be available. However, all of them in the soft states should have a flat top, so they should look full like this. Save for the puzzle number seven. Puzzle number seven is actually the easiest one, I think. It only has two rotations, I think, and less moves than most of these others. I'm pretty sure that the rest of the puzzles only have one unique solution, at least when you give the rule that the top should be flush. But I don't have a good way to check that, so please, if you can, download these, and if you're good at solving puzzles, please see if you can find any cheats or alternate solutions to these. I haven't checked very thoroughly. What I think I will do is solve just one of them for you. Perhaps this will give you an idea of the difficulty and the sort of techniques that I used in the solving of these. I think this is of average difficulty within these puzzles. All right, so to solve one of these puzzles, what I'm going to do as before with Andre's puzzle is to try and form the final cube outside of the basket. After a bit of searching, I think this is indeed the orientation that it all needs to go together like this. Wow, I've forgotten my own puzzle. I think this would be the top and this number one looking piece here on the face can come up and out of the puzzle like this. And after that, I think this piece can come up. And for that reason, I think we need to put this in first. Next goes the number one piece, it turns around like like so, see? It has some rotational ability here, it can rotate like that. And I think I'm going to put this piece in here at the side, hide it down there, and yes, I think this was the solution. Like that. Do you see? It is complete. I I happen to know the solution, so I'm not sure how difficult or easy this would be. The solution is quite different for most of these. I think number five and six are kind of cousins to each other, so the solution is a little bit similar there, but all of the other ones have totally different 
ideas and the, the main mechanic is different. So I have no idea what, in what order the difficulty would go up. I urge you to try them out and tell me, give me some feedback on how you like these. If they're too difficult, if they have alternate solutions. By the way, about printing these, the basket is printed like this, just as it is on the print bed, but it has this handle. So wait a minute, how do you print that? It has this special shape underneath here that ensures you oh. can actually print it with just your bridging okay. settings. So a printer can bridge this sort of distance quite easily if it's totally horizontal, which this is. You could of course print them a little bit larger too, perhaps this size, if, uh, especially for a few of these puzzles where you need some dexterity turning the pieces around within the cage when it's underneath another piece and so on. In any case, I hope you've enjoyed the video, thank you for watching, and I hope you can go and download a few of these, try them out for yourself, uh, give me some feedback and tell me how easy or hard you found them, if you found any cheats or shortcuts or alternate solutions, maybe some improvements even. Start with number seven, it's the easiest one. Oh, uh, the original series from Andre, these ones don't require rotations and they don't have any voids within the solution. So definitely start with these three ones and, and send a message to Andre as well, if you like these. See you next time.